Hey, they're finally awake. We just crossed the border. I've heard strange things have been happening since I was away. Even so, it's good to be back home. Back in Skyrim. something. These two! Take them to the battle. Sundered from Eastern Skyrim in years past, High King Svagrim rules the cold and unforgiving land known as Western Skyrim, consisting of the hordes of Halfiga, Kartald, Yalmarch. All right. Brondold. Uh, there's no time. Take this. Keep it safe. Wait, what are you giving me? Information. The Ice Reach Coven. At work in the West. I just need more proof. Go, they're coming. Who's coming? The ones who attacked you? Don't trust them. Only Lyris. She's... Hold on. You there. What did that fugitive tell you? Who are you? Another spy? What did this lying Easterner say to you? I was just about... I was just going about my business when I saw that he was injured. Assisting a fugitive is a crime in Hafingar Hold. Unless you want to find out how we deal with traitors and spies, tell me what he said to you. He said something about the Ice Reach Coven at work in the West. Do you know what that means? Ice Reach Coven? Ridiculous. The only threat to the West are those damn spies from Eastern Skyrim, conspiring against our king. Forget whatever nonsense this skeever told you and be on your way. You hear more talk like his, report it to the guard. Understood. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Solitude doesn't take kindly to instigators or strangers. And mark my words, you'd rather not get on the wrong side of the High King's guard. Go on. Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Right. Everybody's here. Let me look at this. The papers. A scrap of paper with a hurried writing scrawled in a shaky hand sits on top of the pile. Brondold. The guards came asking about you. They were rattling their scabbards at anyone who they could find. I'm scared. I hid your horse in the woods. I wait in the barn by the stables outside the city. But only for one more day. An official looking form with an annotation. Declaration of customs, port of departure sentinel, port of arrival solitude, cargo offloaded, three barrels oasis water, four crates Scarvian housewares, five crates Thorstad pottery, one crate sentinel canteens. Saw a crew member surreptitiously marking several crates on the docks, hidden compartments. Couldn't get a look inside. A small, tightly folded note tucked in between the sheets. Left a surprise for you. Follow the directions. Where stones stand south of the lovely docks in the shadow of the shelter. Where the living trees keep watch. Hey. Meet Brondold's contact. Oh, look, there it is. And here we are. Hey, here we are. Hang on a second. A 
familiar sight in the background there. People everywhere, trees everywhere. Okay. Let's go and find this guy. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. I kind of want to just go straight to the city. Alright, let's follow the cryptic notes. Oh, actually, you know what I forgot? We've got to get our gear on. We've got to get the right gear on, right? Okay. Well, we're almost there. Hang on a second. Okay. Now we're good. Ash-covered fragments. Fragments of pottery. Possibly urns. Lit at the bottom of the... A hidden compartment beneath packing hay. A strange ash or dust covers the fragments. Beautiful. Alright, so the next one is down there. I reckon we could just just go for a swim. Like that guy. Go for a little dip. So let's have a look at the map. Guess this is going to be our domain. For the next year, maybe? Half year? Brondold's hidden belongings. There's a letter to Lyris tucked between the covers. Lyris, if you're reading this, I never made it to our meeting at the Blue Palace. I'm likely the dead are in the dungeon, but I was able to send word your way. I don't have solid proof that the Ice Reach Coven were hunting. Your hunting is in Halfinger Hold, but something's rotten in the capital city for solitude. I know I'm on the right trail. Unfortunately, it seems they know it too. I wish I had more information for you. I'm sorry. Bring what I found to Queen Garhild. She's more level-headed than the High King. Without her influence, I doubt you'll even be able allowed to see High King Svaradrim, Brondol. The journal itself reads as follows. The assignment is going to be more challenging than I anticipated. Locals are suspicious of strangers. Guards always seem to be watching. Even in the city, the size of solitude, even among Nords. I stick out like a sore thumb. Made one contact at the royal stables. Young woman named Kovian, starry-eyed naive, told her to keep watch for unusual travelers. No one else is talking. I'm going to settle into a routine, get people used to seeing me around. Everything passes through the lonely troll at some point. The best place in the city to talk to the locals and learn about what's going on. There's an orc that frequents the establishment, goes by the name of Mao. He seems willing to talk as long as you keep his mug filled. Anyone knows something about the Ice Ridge Coven, I'm sure to find him in the lonely troll. What is going on? Any trust I built up with the locals have evaporated the mere mention of witches. Won't say a word about them. Unless you count prayers to the gods. I guess they take dark magic more seriously this close to the reach. They'd rather shut their ears to it than court misfortune. Corvin came through for me. Said some rugged types arrived on mountain mares. Trying a little too hard not to be noticed. They put up postings all around town recruiting for something. Sharp girl. A recruitment flyer is stuffed in between the pages. Laborers and craft workers needed. Brave folks sought for distant and dangerous work in uncharted territory beyond the Druadach mountains. Travel mandatory. Food and lodging provided. A year long commitment required. With rewards to match the risks. Inquire at the lonely troll inn in solitude. Note scribbled in the bottom of the flyer. Seen these postings across the hold. Nobody seems to know what all this labor's for, or where it's needed. The journey continues. The journal continues. 
I noticed red guard ships making regular stops at the docks here. Considering my chilly reception, I find that curious. Cost me a good bit of gold, but the local snitch, Gregor, who I found gambling in an alley, provided a solid lead. Red guard mariners are bringing shipments up from Sentinel. Manifests say housewares. Crews look more like mercenaries than traders. She saw one discreetly marking some of the crates. They go poke around. Tried to grab what's inside, but I got caught and it slipped from my hand before I could wrest it from the crate. I managed to lose the thugs who were after me. I'm just hoping they never get a good look at me. Supposed to meet with Lyris Tyneborn before her audience with Queen Gerlhild at the Blue Palace. Tell her what I found so she can convince High King Svargrim that there's a threat to his domain. All I've got is suspicions, nothing solid. I've heard the High Queen rules with a lighter touch. She might be sympathetic. She might be the sympathetic ear that gets us in the door. Okay, wow. Apparently, I'm in combat. So now we're gonna go meet the contact over here. It's just people everywhere as you'd expect so the expansion went live like 12 minutes ago pretty much as soon as i logged in as soon as i started recording it went live are you the contact i don't think you're the contact what do you want i want nothing mate i will be back later though go for a spot of fishing i think Folks that are very familiar with Skyrim will probably really enjoy going around territory somewhat familiar. Yeah. It's been a while since I played the old Skyrim. Stay back! I'll do it! I'll stab you! You're gonna take all of us on? Come on, Corvin! Look, I'm not here to hurt you. I need to talk about to you about Brondold. I don't know any Brondold. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't want any more trouble. You make me stab you, and it's my word against yours. Brondold's dead. He left me with a handful of papers and a lot of questions. Dead? Stone's mercy. But I'm next, aren't I? I promise. I don't know anything. I won't make any trouble. I'll disappear. I don't even like it here. You'll never see me again. I didn't kill Brondo. Just tell me what this is all about. He... He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any unusual comings and goings. He'd come by now and then with a sweet roll and a few coins for my trouble. He was... nice. And did you see anything out of the ordinary? The last time we spoke, it was about the men with the job postings. A pair of wolves in sheep's clothing. Trying to blend in, but still off around the edges. Same with their horses. Sheared mountain mares. Come from the reach, I wager. You think they were trying to hide where they came from? They'd be wise to. The only time Reachmen and Nords meet is to kill each other. I always heard they were raiders and barbarians. No interest in honest labor, or writing for that matter. Not the sort to post job notices. What do you think they really want? Who knows? Maybe they really do need laborers. Can't imagine Reachmen would hire Nords, so. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Tell me about the Reach. A wild land full of wild folk, located south and west of here. It's changed hands between Reachmen and the Nords more times than I can count. But they control the territory now. Seeing Reachmen wandering the streets of solitude, it makes me nervous. Why does that make you nervous? You'd feel the same if you knew the tales of the fall of Markarth. What the Reachmen do to folks they capture. Better to slice your own throats than let those barbarians take you alive. 
If they raid our hold, just run and don't look back. What else can you tell me about the job postings? Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. I really did not pay them a lot of attention. I was more interested in the men distributing them. So what are you going to do now? Take Brondel's horse and run before someone less friendly comes to find me. Ron was going to take me back east after he finished here. I want to live where strangers are welcomed with a smile instead of a scowl. I hear Windhelm is like that. Are the people here that suspicious of strangers? We are stuck between the despot of Markarth and the Scald King of the East. Both sniff around like wolves, waiting for a moment of weakness to strike. Not a day goes by without a threat of war. It is exhausting living this way. Alright, Corbin. Let's go and find ourselves a Lyris Titanborn. Oh uh, yeah, coming up and around the bend. No gate here though. Oh no, there it is. There it is, that's right. Solitude discovered. In we go. <laughs> any uh any action going on up here today no right. pretty familiar got the inn over here where is Lyris hang on let's just figure out where Lyris is at the moment all right so she's all the way over there makes sense banks in there I'm gonna run the back Look at that. It's cool. Actually, now that I'm here and it's out, I'm going to have to reload Skyrim and go and go to all these locations. Get really quite, well, get familiar with it again, I suppose. What? Nothing, nothing. I'm just, I'm just taking it all in. Oh, there's a chicken there. Don't touch the chicken. You don't want that. You don't want that heat. Now I got the Solitude Way Shrine. Doing a bit of sightseeing here. Alright, I won't read that. I won't read that. <laughs> I feel like it, but I'd like to, I'd like to make a little progress here. Yeah, typically you'll find I'll read all the quests, uh, quest dialogue, and and anything that's directly related to the quests, main quests anyway. We will be trying to do side quests here and there. In fact, we'll probably end up doing all of it, but I'm going to focus on the main quest for now. There are, oh yeah, this was our house, wasn't it? We got that. There was a house there. I'm pretty sure. It's like a sewer entrance here or something. Very good, folks. Let me know. Are you gonna Are you gonna jump in? Are you gonna get yourself Greymoor? Western Skyrim expansion. Pretty cool. Alright, in we go. The Blue Palace Courtyard. There's Lyris. Yorin didn't mention he was sending you to Solitude. Not that I'm sorry to have you along. An extra blade is always welcome. 
As soon as Brondold shows up, we can get things started. Hey, Alirus, you know me. It's me. Remember? Remember all the adventures we went on? So, okay. Brondold isn't coming. He's dead. He's what? Oh, damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to pretend to be that contact or this will go very badly. What's this all about? We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. Follow your lead with what? There is Titanborn. Your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No, but I assure you my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. You know me! Come on, Lyris. Being like that. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. Who might you be? Dan, your majesty. The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svalgrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you, but I will hear you out. I've witnessed some concerning things since I arrived here, your majesty. Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svargrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. There's evidence of Reachman activity around Solitude? Reachman transgressions will not be enough for Svargrim to accept outside help. He's a prideful man, and the bad blood between him and Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf. But you and Lyris will need to bring me proof he cannot ignore. We'll find that proof, your majesty. Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you run afoul of my husband, he won't hesitate to return you to Yoren, and not necessarily in one piece. What sort of proof will persuade High King Svagrim to listen? You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Yoren exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find proof of this, and I will assist you how I can. Helping to keep our hold safe will also allay his concerns. What we've found so far isn't enough? It's enough for me to believe your intentions are sincere. Learn more about these suspicious activities you mentioned, then bring it to me. If this threat is as dangerous as Joran claims, prove it, and I will make my husband listen to reason. 